Invasion of the Asian Clams sounds more like a science fiction movie than a real problem. But for Owasco Lake, it's starting to become a real problem. It's akin to an ecological game of Russian roulette because you don't really know exactly what uh, can happen. The, the uh, impacts on food webs uh, can be anywhere from uh, none to very severe. So there is a risk anytime you introduce any, any new species. They're releasing a lot of phosphorus and nitrogen into the water, which is basically algae fertilizer. That means the more clams, the more algae. And besides changing the taste and odor of the drinking water supply, certain types of algae, including blue-green algae, can be harmful to pets and people. If the blue-green algae bloom were to happen during the swimming and boating season, it would be more of a concern. Uh, we'd have to stop boating, particularly swimming, skiing, jet skiing, uh, because it is uh, a skin irritant and in high enough levels it, it can get uh, dogs and uh, small children sick. Now even though this Asian clam population isn't causing any health concerns just yet, officials are working to contain the problem before it spreads. If it spreads all the way down the lake we have that much bigger of an area to cover and it's also that much more expensive. Right now since it's pretty shallow and only in a smaller area makes a lot more sense to try to control it right now so it's cheaper for everybody. Experts believe the Asian clams made their way into the lake from someone's boat or bait bucket brought to a Wasco from another watershed, which is why experts say in addition to trying to kill the clams, they're starting a public education campaign to remind people of how to prevent spreading invasive species. In Owasco, Katie Gibbis, YNN.